Now one of the biggest fears that a lot of people have aside from clowns, spiders, heights, marriage, people with small feet, is uncertainty, the fear of the unknown. And because of this, we often get used to living within our comfort zone. And don't get me wrong, it's good to have structure in your life. But what I've come to realize over the years is that comfort breeds mediocrity. I'll be the first to admit, I spend a lot of time in my comfort zone. I don't like surprises, I don't really like new experiences, and I'm not really all that great at making new friends. But I realized that I, I need to break out of that bad habit. There's nothing wrong with the comfort zone, but every now and then, you kinda gotta peek your head out and see what else is going on in the world. So for example, a long time ago, I used to talk to this Trini girl, right? Who had this preconceived notion of black guys, well, to be more specific, Jamaican black guys. For some reason, there seems to be some kind of rivalry between Trinis and Jamaicans. I have no idea why. Maybe someone can fill me in on that. Her and I, you know, started talking and having relations of sorts. And I just remember her saying to me one time, Wow, you're like not like typical black guys that I meet. It's really refreshing. You're like black, but you're like not black. You know what I'm saying? Uh, first of all, that's racist. I feel like I too have developed that habit of writing things off completely before actually trying it out for myself. I realize now that I should start exploring more, getting out there and trying new things and getting more cultured. Like for me, for example, I I have pretty eclectic taste in music, but you know, there are certain genres that I normally wouldn't give the time of day to. But for the sake of this week's homework assignment, I decided to, you know, expand my horizons a little bit and, you know, listen to something a little different, like polka. And you know what? It wasn't for me. But the point is, I wouldn't have known that had I not given it a chance initially. So for this week's homework assignment, I want you guys to step way outside your comfort zone and try something new. If you're a person that normally has two left feet and no rhythm, try a dance class. If you're a person that loves to eat meat, try going vegan for a day. I'm sure our fellow push starter JD from The Little Almond can help you with that. And ladies, if you haven't had the chance to date a black guy yet, give it a shot. Because you know what they say about black guys, right? I actually don't know, but whatever it is, it's probably racist. Anyway guys, I want to thank you once again for your participation with the Project Push Start movement. I absolutely love you guys. I'm starting to feel a lot better because of doing this. I hope the same goes for you guys. For anyone watching who isn't currently a member or has no idea what this Project Push Start movement is, a link will be down below in the description. Join the group and be sure to write down your reason for why it is that you're joining the group. I'm your boy Tactics and I'll see you guys next week. Peace and I'm out.